uh, this is my drive today and uh, where my office is and my house and where I live my home it's pretty close to one another I don't have to drive on the freeway to go to work and uh, to film the shows when I do take the freeway it's really early in the morning there's no traffic sometimes it's 2 in the morning 4 in the morning maybe 6 in the morning the latest and there's no traffic on the freeway but uh, this week we have the Del Mar show Fred Hall show down in Del Mar California so I'm traveling a couple hours and uh, I had no traffic till I got on the 405 this stretch should be about a 35 minute drive for me today it's going to be two hours so dinner will be a little late today but I uh, just want to talk to you a little bit about fishing uh, you know everybody's asking me is it going to be another El Nino um, I'm not psychic I don't know oh, I just got cut off but uh, it looks like it's going to be a really good year uh, one of the boats already caught a tuna down San Diego in Mexican waters uh, the water's already warm and never really cooled off from last season. I mean, it cooled down, but it's not like normal. You know, we'd see water in the 50s, uh, normally February, March, and it's already in the 60s locally. So the fish, you know, the fish are be hanging around. And some of the sport boats, the Sport King the other day, had a really good count on Yellowtail. And I haven't called Bruce to find out where they were. I know if they were Catalina or if they were local at the Horseshoe. Because he does a three-quarter day trip. But uh, he had a bunch of yellowtail on the boat. And uh, the rock fishing has been phenomenal so far this year. A lot of people are out there fishing the rock fish since the season's been open. And uh, they're doing really good. So I wish I was out there right now. I'm here in traffic. Much rather be on the water. Where I feel safer and more comfortable. And as far as uh, what to look for early in the season, I've been doing private charters, um, quite a few in February. Haven't had any in March yet. Just been really busy with the Fred Hall shows. Uh, we did do a lobster one, but the fishing fishing uh, trips in February were pretty good. We had uh, really phenomenal fishing the one day with the. Russian boy and his dad. We got six bass up to six pounds and a bunch of smaller ones. I had some smaller fish too and some sculpin. But uh, for February the fishing was really really good. As we get out of March we get into April. I really look for the yellowtail fishing to get better. Uh, the rock fishing like I said has been really really good and I expect that to stay good too but I think when the surface fish start to pop you're gonna see a lot of people switch over um, to surface fishing I visit some of the local independent stores been into a couple of Turner's Outdoorsmen and uh, people are really talking about the tuna fishing and the surface fishing people are really excited about it and I was on that day and a half trip aboard the Chief Colonnette we had lots of yellowtail I think we ended the trip with like 60 yellowtail. Some of the other boats that fished the yellowtail the whole day um, had over 100. But we um, left the yellowtail area, went rock fishing for a while, so we didn't get as many yellowtail. And that's where um, I think it was Pacific Queen, or one of the boats at San Diego, they were calling it that was close to us, caught a bluefin tuna, a nice bluefin, over 50 pounds. So. You know, if you want to know what the fishing conditions are going to be like, I, I personally think they're going to be good. I don't know if they're going to be as good as last year, but I think we're going to have really good fishing. And uh, see if I can switch lanes here. I just think it's going to be really good. Like, again, I don't know if it's going to be as phenomenal, phenomenal as we had um, 2015. I think 2016 is going to be very, very good and uh, just waiting for it to happen. Everybody's all excited at the Fred Hall Show in Long Beach. Uh, lots of conversations about the fishing and what to expect. And this week I'll be at the Del Mar Fred Hall Show and everybody's all, I know they're gonna be excited there. 
show starts tomorrow Thursday uh, by the time you guys see this the show will already be on and I'll be down there every day uh, through Sunday and then it's uh, pretty much full speed fishing after that these Fred Hall shows are kind of like the kickoff for the season and April we have one more show just a one day show day at the docks but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if fishing's full speed by then not like full speed tuna fishing but you know some surface bites maybe barracuda move in uh, definitely more people will start going bass fishing so it should be really really good all right um, if you have time come by the Fred Hall show in Del Mar come visit me I'm on the 800 row the far room the, the last room where all the fishing companies and the fishing tackle manufacturers are I'm in that room and I'll be doing seminars on Saturday and Sunday. They have me talking about rock fishing. Not sure why, but they needed somebody to help out with rock fishing, and I'm glad to help out. Talk about fishing, any sort of fishing, I'm happy to do that. So I'm going to be on this freeway for a couple more hours. If you're driving on the 405, wave at me. I'll be here in my truck. And I'm working my way north to get home. All right, well, thanks for watching. That's today's little video blog for my truck on the 405 freeway. And uh, don't forget to subscribe right here, my YouTube channel. And I'll talk to you all really soon. See, I got up to three miles an hour. Maybe in a little bit, I'll get up to five or six. All right, talk to you later. Bye.